Minecraft exploration sucks is what people have been saying. And well, yeah, I can agree that for returning players, exploring is pretty boring. And with it, progression becomes worse. Most people's solution to the current progression is, well, shit. Because common concepts like progressive difficulty or content locked until the late game or EULA offenses don't really work because they reduce the freedom that Minecraft is known for. So let's instead do something that increases that freedom. I'm Melo15 and I hope that the next update is going to be the adventure update. There's currently very little to no reason to explore structures other than for the heck of it, which is a good ass reason by the way. But it doesn't mean that Minecraft structures don't leave a little something to be desired. Specifically, Minecraft structures need a good reward. Imagine this, you spend an hour walking around your world until you finally find a woodland mansion. You fight off all the mobs inside and all you get from the chest is an armor trim, a golden apple, and beetroot seeds. I mean, sure, you probably got a totem or two from killing off evokers, but really? Oh yeah, there's better loot you can get from a mansion, but except for the armor trim, you can get pretty much all of it by different and usually easier methods. The loot simply isn't worth the travel. And yeah, I do agree that it is just fun to explore places like this, but since Minecraft's combat is pretty basic, the structures become pretty boring after visiting them for more than like twice. So to fix this, let's take a look at a game that I have replayed to death, even though everything about it is the same every single time. Borderlands 2 has one thing going for it that I wish games focused on more these days. Different playstyles. You can pick from six different characters, each with their own abilities, and every character has three different skill trees that, by the end of a playthrough, you can complete two of. Which, with my shitty math, equals 54 ways of playing the game. And each of these creates a completely different playstyle. And that doesn't even go over the gunplay. I mean, the guns are so interesting. There's multiple varieties, multiple brands, all with their own little gimmicks, legendary guns that have special effects, mission specific loot. You see what I mean? I can keep replaying the same missions again and again because the way I play can have many drastic changes. And that's what Minecraft needs, which is why my biggest change is going to be more enchantments and uh, uh, reduced enchantment levels. Okay, okay, hear me out. Why the fuck can you get Broad 4 and Sharpness 5 by trading and enchanting? These enchants are so good that they turn the game from having a little kick to it to being a complete walk in the park. So why are they obtained through the most boring parts of the game? And so, I want to remove these higher enchantment levels. Not for every enchant, but for most of the really good ones. And now, you can only find these enchantments on pre-enchanted weapons, or as books found in structures, held by mobs, or really any other method that increases exploration. The enchantment level of these items could even be higher than the original max. But think about this, right? You're exploring a nether fortress, and in a chest hidden deep within, you find the Wither Wrecker, a diamond axe with smite six and looting three, allowing you to easily cheese all the withers in the fortress, getting you enough skulls to fight the boss. Obviously, this weapon would be incredibly rare, but now if you're ever going anywhere where you're expecting a lot of the undead, you have the perfect weapon. Or maybe these items can even have exclusive enchantments, like finding an iron chest plate when looking through a pillager outpost that has speed. An enchantment that, when worn, makes you just a bit faster than usual, at the cost of it being permanently stuck to an iron chest plate instead of a netherite one. By adding things like this, you not only give the players a reason to enter structures, but you allow for their playstyles to differ much more from the usual sword, totem, axe, prod for netherite that everyone is using, making PvP far more exciting. And creative, think about it, this game is all about creativity, but the combat system leaves no creativity, there's one option, and, and that is just to use a sword and an axe. So now, when entering my fifth mansion, I now have fun just walking around killing creatures, because I'm now running around with speed, using a sword that deals less damage, but has a far faster attack speed. Or perhaps I'm doing the opposite, walking around in protection 5 armor, I am absolutely impossible to take down, but because it's protection 5, I get a little bit of slowness. And with that tough armor, I'm carrying a tough mace, with a massive sweeping edge and insane knockback, at the cost of really slow attack. 
attack speed. I can switch between these styles and now I can have fun just exploring and killing shit. So when you're not working on a project, you're not collecting some specific item, you're just walking around exploring, there is something interesting for you to do. Now, yeah, this is a mod concept. This is not close to something that could actually happen in an update. I don't think we'll get anything like this anytime soon, but the game has been going in a way better direction when it comes to stuff like this, so who knows what it might look like in like 10 more years. There are some updates that Mojang might actually want to add. Like for example, what do trial chambers and bastions do that other structures like the desert temple and I don't know, outposts don't? They are varied. The trial chambers have so many different ways of generating because it is all procedurally done. And bastions, bastions are so great because they have multiple main variations. What is keeping Moyang from making more variations from existing structures? Outside of their 10 minute work week, of course. Now don't get me wrong, nothing will be fixed once Mojang makes more variations of desert and jungle temples, villager houses, mansions, or literally any other structure. The only way for these to fix exploration is for them to get exclusive items, or vast differences between the original and the variations. Maybe this variation of a desert temple has the possibility of giving you a cool armor trim. Maybe this version of the jungle temple has a secret dungeon underneath it instead of a secret chest. This allows for more interesting places to explore, giving the two week Minecraft phase just a, a little extra time. It also allows for more intrigue for the different types of players. Structures can have a variation for builders that have a lot of extra building blocks and other useful materials. They can have a variation for those looking for a challenge with hard dungeons, spawners, or maybe just mobs with crazy OP loot on them. The collectors can have a variation with a chance to get a rare item, and the newer players can have smaller, simpler structures, maybe with explorer maps leading to the other variations. The possibilities are wild. Talking about maps real quick, uh, instead of having to spend hours maxing out a cartographer villager and then having to get more because the dumbass villager didn't trade the exact map you wanted it to, can we just have it that the map lets you pick a structure or even a biome? That would be so much cooler. It's, it's so much more efficient. It just takes a boring part of the game out of the gameplay loop, okay? Thank you, Moyang. Thank you. Anyways, all this exploration crap is great, but there's a certain problem that is still begging to be fixed before exploration can become a priority. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. That was so fucking stupid. Minecraft's inventory system is really f not good. In the early game, you want to keep everything on your person since you don't have a home yet. And transporting items is a fucking nightmare, but we'll get to that later. And in the late game, you have all this gear that you keep with you all the time. There's barely any room for items you gain from exploring or literally just gathering stuff. Unless you want to carry a billion shulker boxes with you, which just wastes your time. The solution? Well, for the late game, I propose this. The ender bar. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds really weird. Uh, now in your ender chest, you have a sweet extra bar at the bottom, including an offhand slot and slots for armor. And using a shortcut, or perhaps uh, by clicking the ender chest or something, you can now switch your hot bar and armor with that that is in the chest. Of course, keeping empty slots from switching. Or if you want to keep a place for food or blocks, or perhaps you just want to keep the same armor. Now, what does this solve? Simple. You can now have two tool setups, one for building and the other for exploring slash fighting. Or perhaps you're going to attack someone and prepare one setup for a defensive playstyle and the other for more of a glass cannon approach. Of course, there would be a big cooldown between the switches to prevent this from getting a bit too crazy. But this will let people play the game without having to carry 20 fucking tools on them all the time. And this is just a loose concept. There are plenty of ways that the late game inventory problem can be fixed. Like letting you use shulker boxes more like a bundle, meaning you don't have to place them down, put the items inside, break it again, pick it up. It's, a whole, it's such a big hassle. Instead, just allowing you to quickly click in your inventory on whatever items you want to put in there. Or perhaps making some form of multi-tool that can replace the pickaxe, axe, shovel, and hoe, though that is a bit extreme. Maybe you make it possible for allays to carry chests for you, making them work as a portable storage. All of these changes have a very positive effect on the game, and if you have a better idea, please do share them. I'm not that smart. Quick note, uh, I don't believe that any of these ideas are the perfect way of solving something or are even foolproof in any way. I haven't really mentioned these to other people, so if you guys have any thoughts on them, please do share. Uh, I love talking about stuff like this. Also, we got memberships now. Whoa.
I don't recommend you buy this, but if you're conveniently a Nigerian prince with a lot of extra money that wants to support me, you know, do your thing. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, it's an option. Anyways, for the early game, the problem is a little bit harder because we cannot just add some fancy item. There's always the option of just adding more slots, but at the end of the day, that would just end up giving players a really cluttered screen. And at the end of the day, it wouldn't even really fix the issue. Same goes for backpacks, by the way. The bundle was a great addition, but it needs more storage. And maybe the ability to pick up a specific item from the bundle instead of only the first. Just, just let me use the scroll wheel or something because this shit is really fucking annoying. The bundle is not very user friendly, okay? Anyways, the best way of fixing early game storage or storage as a whole is actually just by changing. Well, yup, we're going there. Early game transport is a uh, non-existent, which is all right, actually. There isn't really that much to go to in the beginning, but mid-game transport needs to be better. Horses are great, but like Jet Starfish mentioned, was that they could use a debuff, preventing people from using them everywhere. Minecarts, now those are a different beast. Right now, they are slow, expensive, and only really work when you're riding them. Here's my solution. First, let's give some love to the most underrated item in Minecraft. Please, Mojang, I have been begging for this thing to get an update for so long. Furnace minecarts. Most people don't even know what these things do, which is crazy. Basically, a furnace minecart isn't actually just a minecart with a furnace in it, but instead it is a minecart that when you give a little bit of fuel, uses that fuel to move, which is great. It means that you can just use iron rails instead of having to get powered rails everywhere, which is amazing for early to mid game transportation. So tell me why it sucks so much. First of all, make them faster. These things are pretty slow, which is really upsetting. I personally believe that Minecraft furnaces should be able to go just as fast as powered rails since you have to manually feed them coal, which also needs to be changed by the way. We need them to have an inventory menu so we can actually give them more than just one item of fuel so they can travel longer distances. The entire great thing about these things is that you can just quickly put some coal in them and let them bring your items somewhere else. Why make it impossible for these things to go long distance? And maybe by shift clicking them, you can turn them on or off. Also, please let us connect minecarts using chains. It just removes so many little issues with entities bouncing off of each other. Like this one touches that one and then it goes away and then he touches another one and then, oh my God, they're all going different ways and they're all slow now and oh, the entire system is ruined. Another quick thing about minecarts, uh, make them somehow low chunks or just like make like a prediction or something for how long it's going to take for them to get somewhere because right now if i send items really far on a rail they're, they're just gonna deload and not move anymore we need some way to get the items to actually go to the other side of the map now i know that that doesn't really work for the way that minecraft is currently coded moyang you, uh, you add like two items every update please just you can figure this system out right you can I trust in you, come on. I'm, I sound so condescending towards Mojang in this video. I, I do actually adore Mojang Studios. <laughs> okay, uh, now all that we need to do is make the rail recipe just a little bit cheaper. And boom, you can now make a cheap train of chest carts using a furnace cart to pull them out of your mine and into your storage. Or maybe between bases, farms, biomes, all for a very cheap price. Because fun fact, some people just want to get started with their projects instead of having to progress to the end and then having to look for end cities for a decade and then finally finding some shulkers and then being able to go back so they can finally mine that 20 billion sand they needed, okay? It's so much easier if they can just put it in a minecart chest, send it off their way while they collect more sand. This is a very specific example. I spent a long time gathering sand for that one hardcore video, man, and no one watched it. Now, transporting players with carts is a little bit of a different story. Furnace carts are fine early game, but you'd want a lot more speed to be able to go up against the super fast nether highways that we're all used to now. And now, I know Minecraft is working on a game rule for this, but that's boring. So instead, I introduce copper rails. I, I don't know why I said it like that. That was, that was weird. It, it's copper rails. Copper rails are the brand new way of using all your axes copper. Yes, I know that it's also a building block. I just have so much extra of it. Unlike those crappy iron rails, these copper rails keep most of their momentum. So you now only need a few powered rails as boosters, and you can use the copper rails for the rest of your travels. But that still doesn't really give us that speed that we're looking for. So, Gulk rails. Can I just like say it normally instead of fucking shouting it in a weird way? Okay, 
Uh, skulk rails are special rails made by combining amethyst and skulk shards. Two items that have pretty much no use, uh, like, like barely any use. Together, they make a rail that, when given a redstone signal, takes just a second to charge up before, boom, shooting you at Mach 9 across your rails. Okay, that might be a little bit overkill, but you get the point. Minecarts need to become the go-to way of transporting yourself to and from different bases, farms, towns, and really anywhere you go often. But hopefully, th this transport stuff is enough to make it so that the elytra is now only used for traveling to new places or like going up during a build or whatever. So there you have it. We fixed Minecraft's exploration problem and all of that without scamming anyone. Though we need a lot more for this to truly make the game feel alive again. Like, I don't know, an end update. More uses for items that don't have any right now. An end update, a trading overhaul, a, an end update, and maybe some new biomes. Perhaps a deep sea one. Totally not redirecting you to an older video that underperformed. I, I would never.